Good evening, good evening. <clears throat> it's Rachel here. Happy um, Wednesday night. Uh, this is Late Night Crafts and Laughs, and I am just a little bit late here because I was making sure my Facebook account was not compromised. So I am just going to go over to YouTube and see if there's anybody here tonight with me. Hopefully I didn't keep any of you waiting. Um, let me just have a look here. Um, okay, so um, it's birthday month, it's April. And so we are going to get started with um, uh, working with this paper collection. So um, tonight we I'm going to be working with uh, Miss Kate Cuttables. It doesn't look like anybody's here at the moment. Uh, um, okay, so um, yeah, so anyways, way back, uh, it's birthday month and uh, Christian was supposed to join us, but the birthday girl got a surprise visit from some friends and they brought her some treats to be blessed with, I think cake and gifts. So she may pop on or she may not. So in the meantime, um, I will get started here and hopefully some friends will join us. If you are watching, please introduce yourself and say hello because it's saying that there's six watching. Um, so please pop in and say hello and introduce yourself. Uh, it's birthday month. So Christian and I, way back <laughs> as we were getting to know each other and craft and have fun together, um, had some months set up. So April is always birthday month and it's based on um, Christian's month. So Christian's birthday is today. So if you see her, uh, we'll make sure we'll wish her a happy birthday. And um, if you... Um, I've seen some of the posts of friends already wishing her happy birthday. It's so wonderful. But this is why we have call April birthday month. Hi, Cheryl. Welcome, welcome. Uh, it's, uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> so the whole reason why we have birthday month is it's celebrating um, Christian's birthday and it's a chance to create birthday projects. So, um, I'm going to be playing with this collection. It's called Celebrate, um, Celebrate Paper and Sticker Kit. It came with these uh, embellishments and it came with um, this sticker sheet and um, some really pretty paper collections. So I went ahead already and yesterday I decided to use my Cricut to make a mini album. So I didn't really know what I wanted to make. And I always like to start with the bigger projects first. So I thought I would, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I thought I would use the, um, make the mini album first and use some uh, bigger sheets of paper here. So, and then these I can use for cards afterwards. So, this is not the subscription box. This is the, um, this is the uh, uh, paper collection that's already been pre-released. Pre I thought it would be fun to play with this birthday month collection before the new one comes. I can't wait for the new collection to come. I'm forgetting the name of it at the moment, but it has gorgeous, gorgeous purples in it. And purple is my favorite color. So Cheryl, if we're still here, tell us, tell me, are you crafting? Are you, um, what are you up to? Crafting or just watching, laying low? Uh, I feel like this is the last day for me of spring break tonight. Uh, I go back to work tomorrow and I am not sure I'm quite ready to go back. <laughs> so um, once I get there, it'll be fine. But for now... I'm going to enjoy just watching. Well, thanks for joining me and watching. 
Um, I didn't do much advertising and Christian bless her heart always advertises our, the live on Wednesday nights on her Instagram, uh, before we go live. And so there might not be very many people aware that I'm even live tonight. So it's just me and you crafting, which is great. Um, as I said, I cut out this mini album, uh, last night and I thought I would put it together. So this is actually a Cricut cut file from um, the silhouette, sorry, from the silhouette, from the Cricut design space. And I turned it into a mini album. So basically the original file just looked like this, but then I did um, this first offset and then I attached a rectangle here. So the plan is I'm going to use my cinch to bind it together. I'm going to use my, I think I'm going to try my coil punches. I've been cleaning up my craft room. Yes, it's so hard to go back to work after a break. Um, I feel like I was sick the last little bit of it. So I feel like in some ways it wasn't much of a break at the end. <coughs> so I still have the cough. So who knows how it's going to be projecting my voice tomorrow. But anyways, back to the crafty project. This, oh, did I miss one? Let's stick two of them together. Um, no, no, that's just the back. Okay, so basically what I did is I took this original, I offset it, and then I offset it again. And then I attached, I took a rectangle. This is measured about four inches. I attached it with the idea that it's going to fit in my cinch and I'm going to add a coil binding to it after the project's done and embellished. And then I put in my Cricut. Now to get this side, um, because it's double-sided paper, I technically didn't have to do any flipping. They could all cut and then the other side is just the opposite. I did do some flipping, so there's a few that are the same. I try to keep my mini albums... Um, no more than five pages. So I think this is one, two, three, this is six because I accidentally cut one too many. So this is what I'm going to work on tonight. Um, glue it and work on it. I have the die cuts here in case we get to that. Um, we'll see how far I get and I'll go from there. So um, <clears throat> just getting used to my new layout in space. Uh, I have, that's actually one of my to-do projects is to cut some of those. So I'll just put that all aside and put this over here and um, hopefully I'll be able to see the messages. So um, this is the front, this is the one I decided to be the front cover. I'm going to use my Barely Arts glue and uh, we'll just, we'll just start it off and have it go. So what I did, because I was having a heck of a time figuring out if I had all the pages printed or, or um, cut out, I should say, is I did a paper clip to each of them to make sure I have a front and a, <coughs> excuse me, a back. So um, I'm going to have to take those off. So the front cover is extra special because it has the two layers or the, the multiple layers. Um, the other pages going along as I'll show you is the pattern paper will cut or cut with this red red paper so um it's uh works out quite nice here and so you can just see it's a very subtle subtle layer but that red just pops now I didn't have any red linen cardstock that came with this paper collection I just had the paper collection my uh, on its own but this red came from the hello sunshine subscription box kit so the nice thing about miss kate's papers is that they are consistent hey hey so how are you um or is it eric i'm sure it's pretty it's pretty much so how are you how are you um so this is um Oh dear, I looked away and then I it slid. Oh. <coughs> Hold on, guys. <coughs> oh goodness, how am I going to teach tomorrow when I can't even project my voice just for a video, let alone to a whole class of second graders? Okay, I'm going to try this again because it slid and because the glue dries 
settles in so fast. So as I was saying, this is a very subtle, subtle layer. It's Eric. Sophie's die cutting something and watching her live on TV. Oh, hey, Eric. Thanks for joining. What is she working on? Tell us what she's working on. Um, yes, please wish Christian a happy birthday. It's her birthday today. She thought she might have a chance to go live with me tonight, but it turns out she um, had some surprise visitors. So it's just going to be me solo getting crafty. Um, so we'll see if any friends join us. If not, it's a o k. Get some crafting done before I go back. Now, the one thing. Oh, hey, Sandra. Um, you're backstage. Oh, there you are. Okay. Uh, just can't multitask like that. <coughs> um, okay. Can you hear me? Now, how does it work to add you? Hold on. Now it's going to get all wonky because I don't know what to do. Are you there? Yes, you I'm me? here. Oh, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. I didn't know if you were on the stream yet. <laughs> there we go. Yes, I made Fancy it. Hello, Nancy. everybody. How's the birthday girl? Sorry, I'm late. Sorry, I'm late. Um, no problem. I didn't know my friend surprised me coming over, brought some cake. So oh, I'm here now. And how's everybody doing? Happy birthday month, everyone. Yes, we're just talking a little bit about that. Um, Cheryl's with us. Eric is watching. Hi, Cheryl. And Eric, Soph, cousin Sandra. So and Soph is die cutting. She's watching on the TV. So the whole gang's here. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How's it going? I'm gonna be making some birthday cards. That's a good one to like have in your arsenal. If you want to sell some birthday cards at work. Oh, that's a good idea. I haven't brought work, work cards into work for a long time. You always are so successful with all your coworkers, especially with Mother's Day coming. Do you have a yeah, plan for Mother's Day? Yeah, Mother's Day is really, really good because I can guilt them into like, she gave birth to you. <laughs> How dare you not give her a Mother's Day card? Like what kind of person? And they would be like, okay, let me buy one. <laughs> <laughs> it always works. So you are oh, a saleswoman. So I love that. It's so pretty, Rach. Your mini album. Oh, thanks. Um, I'm kind of excited about it. It's uh fun to do. I'm gonna decorate it. I was thinking I might use some greeting farm images, but I don't have any one's colored yet and i haven't done a swatch with this paper collection so it might just be assembling the project tonight so pretty and then imagine stamping some greeting farm girls to match that'll be so perfect because it's just primary colors yes it is it should be hi norma thank hi, you norma. so much you're so sweet thank you so much i feel so loved so how was your birthday? Tell us all about it. What have you Oh, been okay. Up to? So today, me and Jules, we went, so we tried to have brunch at this place called Bennett's. It's like a all-American grill place. Uh -huh. And then they said, oh, we are, we're having problems in the kitchen. So they said, like, come back later or call us to see if we're open. And I said, it's my birthday. I want to have dinner. And they were like, okay, well, call us and let us know. Um, and... So, you know, they gave us this envelope that says, you know, come back, give it to your server. It could be like, you know, a multitude of things. It could be like a 15% off, but you can't give it open. So we left the envelope open and then we went, we went to Paris Baguette and had like um, brunch there. It was really, really good. They have like really the most beautiful, yummiest ham and cheese croissant. Oh. It's like a Parisian bakery. And uh -huh. we had hazelnut coffee and we got stuff for the kids, which is great. Uh -huh. And it was like $50, a $50 brunch plus um, goodies for the children. So that was great. And then after that, after that, we went home. Jules had to pick up Nick from school and then I had to pick up Lexi. After picking up Lexi, 
Um, we went to Nick's game. They won. It's their first game ever for volleyball. Oh, so that was good news. That's exciting. That is such, yeah, it was like super, super awesome. And then after that, we went to dinner at Bennett's. And then the envelope that we got from Bennett's, it turned out it was like a $75 off from your what? trip. I know. And what? our waiter was like, I've never seen this happen before. And I'm like, yeah. Wow. So it was 75 off. So we ended up paying only like $80. It was like such a magical magical meal it was so good service was great the food was awesome like oh, i ordered wow. like i ordered the fried chicken and rib combo uh -huh. with like waffle fries every single thing was so good the ribs was tender very tasty and moist the chicken is the same so good the waffle fries are so good. We had to order another one. And then it was like the portions were big. You know, everything that you want in a restaurant, essentially. Yes. yes. So when you come to California, I'm going to bring you to Bennett's. Okay. Because I don't think we have anything like that here. It is so yummy there. I don't even know what a waffle fry is. It's so, it's such a good place to like uh, party and, you know, celebrate. Service was great good good thing and then as soon as we got home we started watching nick's game and i fell asleep in the couch uh -huh. and i'm like it's okay it's eight o'clock i'm gonna be on time for the live just you know i'm gonna wake up by nine and be okay and then nine o'clock the doorbell rang and jewel said hey get up and i'm like why <laughs> and say like, come on wake up <laughs> so my friends were coordinating with jewels and so they came to visit and i'm like oh my god and then my other bestie came and it was like oh my god it, oh, their families came it was so much fun that, that's when i texted you like hey i'm gonna be late a little bit sorry right. about that but it was a surprise and it was like so so sweet of them on a school night bringing all the kids along yes so How sweet what a nice little surprise birthday yes. surprises are the best on a wednesday man it's like, and the kids were tired, poor babies. So they got me cake. Did you know that Costco has strawberry cream cake now? No. And it is so good. It so good? good. So when you come to California, we're going to buy that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just setting the scene. Yes, I hear you. When you come to visit, um, we're gonna have we're gonna do that. And then when you come to visit, we're gonna go to the scrapbook store. Yes. Remember the Dixon scrapbook store? We'll drive over there. It's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> and we're gonna have a great, wonderful time. I promise. Sounds good to me. <coughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I was like listening to you. Are you getting a cough? Well, I've had a cough all along, but I just I am feeling that when I project my voice that <coughs> well. Because you remember like a few days ago, I barely had a, a voice, right? Yes, you but barely had a voice. I, I haven't been talking really long <laughs> with the kids back in school, right? It's just me um, home. Um, my husband's been home, but it's just, it. He, I was doing like lots of spring cleaning stuff today and um, yesterday. So I haven't been really having to use my voice a whole lot, but I'm finding here tonight, just projecting it, it... Um, it actually like is taking a lot of effort. So oh wow, this is just talking here like a conversation, not like trying to project my voice over a whole bunch of second graders. So fingers crossed, it goes okay tomorrow. Oh, I hope you don't get sick. Because hopefully, I'm it's just allergies or exhaustion. Yeah, I I don't know because this week is going to be a busy week because I also have um camp with my daughter oh this my god week. that's true so i don't have time to be sick you don't have time to get sick friend i just don't have time you are too busy i'm so jealous with the progress of your room honestly well that's it is been keeping so me beautiful busy. it's been keeping me busy but it's very satisfying at the same time i was hoping to have it done today but i got uh -huh. busy doing um some house projects so i'm like i feel like i have this spring cleaning bug right now so i'm just going with it um, yep go with I the bug bought a new vacuum cleaner 
Oh, <gasps> you did? Because the one we have is a built-in. And at times it's really a pain to do quick, small jobs because you have to bring out the whole hose. And oh, no. It's just, it's a lot of effort. Mm -hmm. And so they had vacuum cleaners on sale <laughs> at Canadian Tire which is basically a Canadian tire is like a Walmart, but without food. Mm -hmm. And um, so like a sporting goods sort of kitchen, sort of like everything kind of store. And they had them on sale. And oh my gosh, it was so satisfying. I realized that the, what we've been using hasn't been properly getting the dirt out of the carpet. My steps oh my. look so amazing. The amount of dirt and dust I was getting out of the carpets was unreal satisfying it was very satisfying because the steps always looked dark I'm going to get them I'm going to be doing getting them shampooed I'm going to like borrow a machine uh -huh. but they don't look as black after vacuuming them today the dark because the vacuum was getting so much dirt out oh so my. it's just very satisfying doing that um you got the spring cleaning bug Yes, I do. So I was doing the house versus my craft room. Um, but hopefully that gets done soon. Hopefully I can do the cleaning tomorrow. I'm doing, I know I'm going to do laundry tomorrow for sure. Um, and then I'm going to go to the post office tomorrow to mail all the stamps. Oh, for Sophie soap. stamps. Yeah. Um, get Hi, that Deb. squared away. So she can get her stamps and have fun and play with them. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Deb. Norma said, I think that Bennett is only up north, not here in Riverside. Um, yeah, it looks like I've never I've never been to Bennett's before. It's very new to me. But if you ever find Bennett's, it is such a fun place to hang out. If you are ever near um they also have Bennett's in Roseville, like by the Douglas area. Uh huh. But it's so, so fun if you ever see it where you are or if you're like traveling somewhere in a different place. It's a fun place to like eat and have fun and celebrate. Uh, Erica, yes. Erica. Hey, Erica. Erica is mesmerized watching you do that outlining. What's mesmerizing about it? mesmerizing thank you so much deb it's fun to do this is like um something that leo conkar does in all her projects it's therapeutic and i don't know i feel like it does add something it does add a lot honestly like it adds depth or something like it, look i did it to Step this mother's it day notch. card here's the mother's day card and then here's like somewhat the same design but it's easter without the outlining Look at the difference. Absolute difference. I can see it. Absolutely gorgeous. Like there's just more depth or something. I don't know. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. But it's fun. It's, 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 um, I don't know. I find it very satisfying to do. I mean, I could save it to the end and do them all at the same time, but I don't know. This is my routine it tonight. Gorgeous. What are you trying to make, Christian? Um, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to prep for some cards. Okay. Um, so this is gonna be this is gonna be five and is it five and a quarter by four is our thing, right? Five by four. And I'm gonna try to make some cards. So I want to do is I want to prep like the bases because it makes it so easy. Number one, it's double sided. So you can just choose one side. Yes. Good thinking. I looked in the mailbox to see if mine came yet today, but no. And then make a boatload of cards. <laughs> Yes, what it, part of my class scrap room purge was getting rid of some of my older card projects because my drawer was overflowing. So I went through all of them 
And so now I have space to, to make some new card designs. That is awesome. And one of the things that I found in my craft room cleanup that I forgot about, I feel like I can show it now because they're not going to be around for much longer, but this close to my heart sketchbook. And it has. Oh, yeah, the um, close to my heart one. It has twenty. I got this at a, like I thrifted it basically at a crafty garage sale in the summer, but it has all these different sketches. I think there's 25 of them and then it shows sample cards or oh, 24 of them. And then it shows sample cards of what they can look like. And it gives you the dimensions for each one. Um, That's yeah. so pretty. So my goal is to do make a, like, do every do all 24 sketches and make a card <laughs> not tonight but i mean <laughs> let's do it let's do it it's going to be so much be fun in one of the lives so, so that mother's day and easter one was based on sketch number one now i haven't decided if i'm going to go in sequential order or if i'm going to jump around i feel like if thank you was to do it she would say she would jump around but I'm the other way where I want to make sure I do them all. So I go sequentially, but we'll see. Oh, I feel like God. I need to use a greeting farm on this. I just haven't. I pulled all of them. Yeah, the I greeting farm, you know, like the annual Anya. Well, oh, I didn't pull that one. I uh, didn't pull those ones That the will be so from perfect. the big set. She's cute. Um, where did I put them? Would that be so perfect to play with? The annual Anya and then just choose. to be like a lot of card bases. Yes, um, Norma. Pinterest is usually my go-to place for sketches. Same. I also like the Call Me Crafty L sketches. Um, so that's usually where I go. But um, I have this book, you know, and it's something that's taking up space in my craft room. And one of my rules for crafty, for keeping stuff, is to use it. If you don't use it, the next time I sort through stuff, it's time to get rid of it. So in the time that Christian and I have been crafting i've done these kind of major cleanups but never mm -hmm. taken it to the end of being completely saying oh this is done so this time is going to be different where i say i'm done um i i brought three hobby lobby bags to the thrift store today of crafty stuff because it's just not worth trying to sell it here So. I'm going to be donating in my thrift store. Oh my gosh. Have you seen, did I send you that link to the, what is it? Bargain bin something. She's on YouTube where she's acquired an 80 year old. Yes. Craft supply. And she posts yes. videos. She opens a bin a day or each little reel. And she shows everything that's in the, in the box. Oh my gosh. I am I know it's that. so full of goodies i saw that and i'm like oh my god and she's doing payments because that's like a lot of that's I'm like so a lot of supplies paid for all of it. <laughs> like, i know um, i'm curious too how much like, you paid for all is it 80 bins 80 bins or something like it I, there, it's like i she said there was five rooms in this lady's house full of crafting stuff and they're and she's big, moving with her daughter yeah and there's big bins and the lady didn't want to just have it all donated um she wanted it to or thrown out she wanted it to be sold and um, enjoyed by fellow crafters so usually this person buys stuff and then you get credit for their store mm -hmm. but because this particular um, lady d isn't going to do any more crafty shopping i guess or has space for stuff she is um 
Everything was so organized. Grandma organized it so well. Oh my god, that's what I was so like mesmerized by of how like organized she has bins and bins and pencils and felt markers and and everything was labeled and everything was labeled and like really like yeah. far out stuff that I have never even seen be like seen before and tons of dyes like it was just it was she, tons she was of dyes and they were all labeled yes original packaging like there was some vintage stuff that came up in the most recent video I Rach, watched. Rach, what's the name of that YouTube channel again? Uh, well, I, I think bottom of the bin or something. Let me just let me go look, and I can share the link here. Hold on. I have a mouse now, so it's easier for me to do this <laughs> during a live. Oops. Let's just check this out. Instagram. Okay, uh, here. I wonder if I just type in bin first. Sorry. Hi, Rach. I'm back. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. Uh, bargain. Is it bargain bin or is it bottom of the bin? Oh my gosh. It's so fun to see. Bottom of the bin. Is that what it is? Yes. Bottom of the bin. Okay. Here she is. She has a YouTube. Like, so the. Oh, she's posted a ton more videos. Or is this YouTube? No, she's posted a bunch more videos that I haven't seen. So she yet. says she's opening like one bin and then films it. Yes. Um, and then she the short reel. Oh, those birds are cute. The short reel is um, on YouTube. Oh, sorry, Instagram. And then the the bigger reveal, so you can see exactly what's in the box is on YouTube. I haven't watched the longer ones. I've just been watching the um Wouldn't that be so reels. amazing? But I mean if that happened to you, would you have space though? Well I I wouldn't want the stuff. I just find it really like it's a it's just an interesting concept. And it makes me wonder what like especially as I've been cleaning my room, what's gonna what would happen to my crafty supplies if I didn't need them anymore or, you know, you got sick or not that I'm wishing anything, but it's just like grandma did so good collecting all of the beautifulness yeah and i'm like i'm like i wonder i'm curious if she crafted with it or if it was more just like the going out and you know like sometimes there's two parts as we've discussed to this hobby there's the shopping the shopping part and then there's the actual creating part was this any of the stuff used at all? Well, it's hard to tell. Like some of it, in my opinion, some of them are look. like so brand new. Like like the dyes she had. Yeah, she she got magnet stuff so that you know they're on magnets. Like everything was really well organized, organized and preserved, like set up. But if you had that many bins, how would you know? where everything was to find it if it was in five different rooms. Like I, I would know. probably have them many bins if I was organizing with bins. You think so? Because I feel like I have, like if I was a grandma, that would probably be my predicament. I, I know I have, I know I have a fair amount of stuff too. Like at one time I thought, what if I had to move? And, uh, mm. That it's will scary. be scary concept for me. <laughs> like you're gonna have to pry my bloody fingers away from this house. <laughs> That's quite the image. <laughs> oh god. That is so such a scary, there. scary thing to talk about. There's so many cut aparts in this collection, my goodness. You guys, this is the April Miss Cake Cuttables. Yeah, and there's so many. 
It has so many pretty purples. I love the purple. I love the yellow, the red, the pink, the orange, the green, and the blue. Nice. Yeah, you're a blue girl. I love all of those colors. Except for purple. <laughs> <laughs> And that's what I love most about this is the purple. Because look, I even have purple nails. So funny. Well, this worked out okay. I was a little worried because I had one glued on the wrong way. But it all worked out. None of them are the same side by side. So that's good. Cute. So yeah. many. Hi, Gina. I have more than you all. And I moved... Time. Hi, Gina. How many times in three years? Um, yeah, I don't. I, you're a brave woman to be able to move that many times with all your crafty stuff. I just, I don't know. I guess you find a way to do it, but I'm just picturing like yeah, if you're forced to, like it's or like you have, put, yeah. It, it, it's not, three times. Three times in three years. Oh, Lord. Wow. How do you do it? Yes. How do you do it? How do you survive that? How? That is tough predicament. Like, how do you start? How would <laughs> you start packing? I guess you're going to have to start packing. Your, if you're going to, you're going to move. My gosh. Do you, okay, where do you start? Do you start with your table? Do you start, I guess you start with whatever you can get your hands on. If you're in a hurry. <laughs> we can sound, you're making it sound like you're turning it into one of your challenges. You're, if you have three, <laughs> you to your craft. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do what you have to do. And it's like, oh my God, we're leaving. Pack it up, you know, that kind of thing. Oh gosh. Man, that's going to be so stressful. And then labeling everything. And, oh my gosh. I could just imagine going through every single thing. Oh, um, that's going to give me like trauma. <laughs> that's a traumatizing I, thought. I, I don't know. I just, I can't picture myself doing that. I guess you have, you have to do it when you have to. No, that part of it is, but I just... Like, for example, I like to have everything that are similar together. So say you have all your dies, but there's no way you could put all your dies mm -hmm. into one box. It would mm -hmm. be too, too, too heavy. Too heavy. Right? So yes. um, that's a problem. Thank you, Gina. Wow. That's intense. I like, about what I needed and then bought okay, for example, Rachel, somebody said, okay, Rachel, we're giving you a brand new house in this beautiful location. And the house has its <laughs> own she shed. And you'd be like, but you have to move within the next week. And you'd be like, I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to make it work. Definitely will make it work like if that happened and you have your she shed hi auntie catherine hi. like the she shed if you're gonna make your own she shed what would it look like hi auntie catherine how are you uh hey, auntie catherine excuse me if i was gonna make my own she shed yeah i don't know i've thought about that I don't know. She shed. She shed. She shed on the she shore. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I, to be honest, I love, I love this space that I'm in and I'm loving it even more now that it's getting organized. And I don't technically know if I want a she shed because here where I am, it'd be friggin' cold in it <laughs> like to go outside in the middle of winter. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I want to like, I'm like, I'm with Gina. I would want to just stay in my in my house Space. um because like for me like the kids can see where i am i can listen to what they're doing i don't know uh -huh. like from, so i don't know if that would be um applicable worth, to you worth doing all the the work to pack up my stuff to go to a she shed i would 
Hi, um, Wilma. Long time no hey, see. Hey, Wilma. How are you? I mean, if I'm going to get a bigger craft room, then I'm going to be willing to move. Absolutely. I would prefer also to be inside the house. Because that's a great idea to be inside the house, but a bigger craft room. Or what if Marie Kondo went to your craft room? Does this give you joy? <laughs> I'm going to be like, Marie Kondo, this is the door. <laughs> <laughs> Stop asking that, me questions. Doing, <laughs> I, I've been doing that a little bit, though, with this craft room cleanup. Does it work? Yeah, it, it does. I mean, I'm not to the extreme probably that I'd be required to do for the show. Um, but man, I've been doing it. So I like, I pulled out all my yarn, for example, and I had, so I don't know, I guess I had thought that I hardly had any red for Christmas. Well, then I go on the box and guess how many Apparently you reds do. I had. I had like three reds. So, oh. um, I don't know what that was about. Um, so I'm all set for Christmas and Valentine's day to make pom poms. But, um, so in that case, that was easy to do, but there were some dyes that I, I've had and stamps that I haven't used in God knows how long. Yeah. So why am I holding on to those? If I haven't used them in the last 10 years, am I really going to use them now? No. Like most of my stuff, most of my stuff I haven't used in the past 10 years, honestly. Well, because it's all hidden. Well, see, that's the thing. So either you have to do like what I used to do with the kids' toys is like have bins where you rotate your stuff, you know, like and pull it out and it's all new again. And then when you're done playing with it, you put it away. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's tough. That's tough. Only so, my thing is I, how I was thinking about this. There's so many hours in the day. I don't want to get overwhelmed by the amount of stuff I have in my room, which what was happening. So I'm like, okay, what am I realistically going to use? That was sort of the, am I going to use this? Am I going to use this? How many Christmas sets of, you know. How many gonna... Christmas stamps that one person need? Probably yeah. not. Especially when you're attracted to get new ones. Um, you know, when come Christmas to get you the answer to, to make something. So I don't know. It was that's how I was thinking about it. If it was going to bring mental clarity. Yep. Right. Like, come on. If I invited you to a crafty store and say, "Come on, I'll pick you up," you'd be like, "Yes, yeah, I'm coming." <laughs> yes, I know. That's the thing. That's the the balance. I like. Christian, um, sorry, not Christians. I like, uh, who was it that said it? Was it Erica? That she would like stations. Who was it that said the stations? Oh, I want it, Erica. I want a station for everything. Um, I like having crafty station. stations. I know. It just, it's so amazing to have crafty stations. Like my sewing station and I have my own chair. And then I have my main desk to film and put it all together. But I don't have to have my sewing machine beside me constantly. Do you know what I mean? Yes. The die cutting station. The die cutting station doesn't have to be so close to me. I can have my mini evolution close to me. But if I'm going to be die cutting for quite a while... I want my die cutting station with all my dies. Right. So if that's only, if only. <laughs> yes, actually, I agree with that. Um, Auntie Catherine just said, we were talking about earlier that this hobby is co the collecting of stuff and then the crafting with it but she actually is saying that it, there's three parts of this hobby there is the um the the shopping the organizing and then the working with it and i would agree with that because sometimes i think over the course of the years that i've been a paper crafter i've organized more than i have <laughs> sometimes crafted I don't know for sure if that's true because I have done a lot of crafting, but I get as much joy from organizing my stash too. 
the organizing part is so joyful. We are going to get a tour, um, Deb. It's still not quite done yet. So I've, I've been breaking one of my rules, which was um, <laughs> to um, not craft until I was done. But I didn't think that was realistic. So, um, cause then it feels like there's no end in sight. So I've been crafting a little bit. Um, I like oh. when we do the 20 minute cleanup. Oh my gosh. That sometimes is what I did with my room cleanup. Like the, I chose a cube, which was really untidy and it looked like overwhelming with stuff and there wasn't space for all that way. I just sort of had thrown stuff in. Uh -huh. So I had about 20 minutes. I'm like, I'm going to look and see what's in there. I'm going to take it all out. See if there's anything I can get rid of and reorganize it. And I was able to get everything that was in there, although it was like so messy to begin with, back in. And now looks like a completely different area. And I, how easy that was to do in 20 minutes. So I really feel once it's done, I'm going to have these little crafty maintenance times I call it where I just before I start it's like crafting, a prize it's like 20 minutes and I'm gonna play around with my stuff or tidy uh, pick a spot tidy it and go from there yeah I love those but I need like 120 minutes <laughs> to to get my stuff like really like one area because it's like negotiating like i'm going to remove some of these donate them throw them away and then have space for the ones like i really really would want but the choice is very difficult to let them go because you know you paid so much money for them and you never really played with them because you tucked them away so safely. Well, that's that that was what was heartbreaking when I was looking at some of the stamps that I was donating. So instead of like when you donate to Value Village, it's like they're actually a for profit store. So you're donating your stuff and they're making profit profit out of it. And that was kind of rubbing me the wrong way. So I found another thrift store that's in my area that's um a uh, hospice thrift store and I've been in there before and their prices are really reasonable it's run by volunteers and so that's where I'm going to bring my craft stuff to um, oh I need to find one of those donate because I just feel like okay this is helping people you know at On their hospice. end of life in hospice their families this seems like a good way because like crafting was a way to like you know make me feel good, make others feel good by giving. So I feel like, okay, if they sell it, then, you know, it just, that's kind of how I rationalize it. But looking at some of the stuff that went into the bin, I maybe used it once or some yeah. of it was not even open. And, I'm and like, you can still remember how much you paid for them. Yes. And that's what hurts sometimes. It does. <laughs> but I've watched enough of those. Um, and have I used it ever? No. But, but you bought it during the release. <laughs> yes. But I've watched enough of those decluttering shows to know that holding on to it isn't bringing you, making you feel good either. Like right. there's guilt and shame around it. So, um, cause I know like, you know, different things that I bought. Oh, I remember buying that when I was like, you know, before I had children, when I was having a bunch of miscarriages, that was like, like therapy. Going crafty shopping was a way to cope. Right. Yeah. Um, so you're just buying stuff with the thought that you were going to use it. It wasn't that I didn't think I was going to use it, but, um, you know, you did, but then it didn't end up using it or, you know, you get, Oh, you see some other people using it. So you're going to use it, but then you realize it's not really your style. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's your just, style oh, have crafting, changed. Your crafting style changes. Because, like, I really loved the dress forms. Do you remember when dress forms were really in? Yes. I never got into the dress forms because it looked vintage to me. Oh, see, we never, the group I was with, we never did them vintage. I was, I remember the dress form swap we did. So everybody had to have the dye. And so, you know, you buy the dye so you can be in the group. But we made them, like, cute, like, 
you know, say we use some people, somebody used something like the doodle bug paper collection. I'm not saying it was a doodle bug one, but just like that bright colors. And we all decorated them. Nobody really de decorated them vintage in my group. It was all relatively um, current. So um, every time, yes, there's that thing too, Deb. Every oh, I hear you. Thing, it seems like you need it. What was it that I, that I felt like that was this purge? I remember my last big massive cleanup. I donated like massive amounts of punchers. Remember that story? Yes, yes. yes. Gosh. And, and massive amounts of punchers. That's like Martha Stewart. That's been collected for years and was bought regular price from Stampin' Up. God, I have to recoup that. My circle punches, man. Yeah, it's uh, <clears throat> it's crazy. So, um, it was, and then I had a friend of mine. She needs to do a project, um, where she needs flowered like flower stamps, cloud stamps, and leaf stamps to stamp on fabric because she's making costumes for her daughter's um theater show so she asked me if i had anything and i don't have any clouds i don't have any stars i have dyes but i don't have stamps because even like you know you wouldn't color those but i was laughing with her i'm like you think with all this stuff in my room and this thousands of dollars you really have in this room right. <laughs> that you'd be of the right item but do you think I could find what she needs? Um, and I'm like, oh, I just think I got rid of some flower dyes in um, in the bins. Let me, like, I have to actually go through them. They're in my van because I haven't actually brought them to the hospice, like the hospice thrift store yet. I was going to do that today, but um, plans changed. So they're in the van to take there. So. Um, I'm going to look one last time because I feel like I might have some flower ones. But then I was saying to her, yeah, I think I could use some of my five mil craft foam and I can cut some stars out because I have some really nice star dyes, like a nesting set. Uh huh. And then she could use those to stamp. And then I'm like, I might be able to cut something on my Cricut if you want to use foam. <laughs> and she's like, oh, I was thinking about cutting it out by hand. I'm like, well, that might work. But just don't, it's just... It's just funny. If you want All this stuff, to, and you think you'd have what you need, and she's waiting she's into for the fabric. right project. And all this paper collections, it's waiting for the right project. And I used to love it; like it used to be my first love. And now yes. it's no longer your first love. No. So now I'm like using my first love. I'm trying to use all the first loves. If once I still love them, you know, once you still have the satiety, the yes. appetite to use it, because once it goes away, it's just one of those. Yes. Well, that's, um, Auntie Catherine was saying, um, she looks back at her crafty collection and she can see what era was she in. So she means she looks at, um, her graphic, graphic 45, 45 paper, it was the graphic 45 era. Um, graphic and now she's in her era. Paige Evans era. <laughs> <laughs> but I went through an era where I loved, and I can't, I can't get rid of them. Sorry about that. Is the Julie Nutting we doll. We didn't get it is the Julie Nutting doll stamps. <laughs> and I have a ton of them. And that was, uh, way that I crafted after I had Elizabeth and William was only like three. So that first six months, that's what I could sit down to do once in a while is stamp a doll, stamp the clothes and fussy cut and make a doll and maybe a, a, um, a tag to go with it. So I was like in this swap where we did tags and did the dolls. And so there's like nostalgia, like I'm like, oh, that those take up a lot of space. I could get rid of them and sell them. 
but I'll get nothing for them. So oh, yeah. I'm like, I'm just going to hold on to them. Cause I think now Elizabeth might enjoy them. If we like this summer, we can sit down cause she loves coloring. She can cut really well. Um, I think it's something we can do. I don't know what our brother's going to do while we're doing it though. That's the problem. But oh, maybe I can put one more in. Yeah, it's just like you. We realize, oh, that was that much money, and you're, like, say if it was like twenty five dollars a girl, and you have like, I don't even want to count. It's like no. Oh, I Gina hear did, you. Gina, so funny. many things. I so many. Um... I finally got my cardstock back in the closet. Looks nice and neat, and cleaned out most of my drawers full of stuff that I don't need or haven't touched. Punches and inks. That's awesome, Gina. It must feel good. Something that I find very satisfying to do, um, I think I encourage you to do this, Christian, too, is to take a before picture of what project you, okay, I'm going to accomplish this when I sit down, and you take a picture, and then when you're done, you can compare what it looks like before you started and then after you started. So you see the satisfaction. Hi, Niela. How are even, you, my dear? Because there was even periods of time when I was doing this where it felt it got mess, like it got worse. Like I remember I was starting to see the floor, and then I thought I would organize my bead collection, and so then and then everything was all over the floor, and it's like no, it's messy again. <laughs> my <laughs> husband would come in to see like what my progress is. And he's like, what's with all this stuff on the floor? Why don't you get rid of it? <laughs> oh. You know, I get to a point sometimes when you're hyperventilating, when you're <laughs> organizing. And that's the toughest part because I know at that point, I am just going to throw everything in a garbage bag. Well, I almost felt like that. Or I'm like, it gets to be like, oh, that's good enough. I can live with my room like this. But then I'm like, no, Rachel. I want it to no, be. No, Rachel. You got to do the right thing. It's not going to be a picture perfect room. I'm telling everybody right now. It's not going to be picture perfect where you just look at it and you stepped off of a, you know, out of a craft magazine. Magazine. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be usable. So there'll be spots where I can have sort of stuff out at my fingertips. But my goal is to keep stuff off the floor in my room. And Christian pointed out last night when we were chit-chatting. Yeah, um, we were chit-chatting. Um, the times I have the hardest time keeping this room space is... Um, the hardest thing is to... When I have like a party or some sort of event coming up. And yep. because my craft room is close to all like the real livable areas of the room, the house, like the kitchen, the family room, the living room, and like the dining room, which we've changed into like a Lego room. Um, it's so easy to just put stuff into my room to forget about it and then shut the door. But then it's so overwhelming when the party's over to come back into my room and like, oh, I have to deal with all of this now. So my goal is for my room not to be a dumping ground for the, I don't know what to Parties. do. Parties. Crap. <laughs> stuff. So, I mean, you have nice to have a place to, to dump out. stuff. For example, like after a live, you're not in the mood. You have to have one dumping space yes. to let yourself kind of breathe a little. Yes. But it cannot be everywhere. Yes. You have to have a basket, like a dumping basket or a dumping box. So and I then when you're ready to deal with it, you deal. Yes. So right now, this is my um, basket. It sits on the floor. But then once it, it's getting to the point where it's getting overflowed. So I have these water bottles that I have. Actually, I have to put my aunt's name on it. This is from Christmas, but not this past Christmas, but probably the Christmas before. I've held on to it and didn't put vinyl on it when I said I would. And then I have these that I have to put away. But most of my twine is not on these things. It's like on rolls. So I have to either roll it or something. And then I have pictures from a project. And then I have all these dies that I'm either going to keep on the magnet or put into my new packaging. 
but that's a project that I have to deal with. And then my daughter's um, yearbook from preschool that doesn't belong in here. So once it's full, I have to, you know, deal with it. So that's going to be probably tomorrow. And then it's on the floor. It's not overwhelming the whole floor. <laughs> oh, and this thing. This was a project. I thought it'd be cute for bathroom art. I guess it's developing strategies that would work for you. And, and what works for me might not work for you. Right. And that's okay. Right. Whatever strategy works for you and how you deal with, you know, it's, it's, it's also dependent on your coping mechanisms. Like if you can't cope with this much mess, like apparently I can cope with a lot. But, like, if you can't cope with the mess, like, what are your strategies? Like, do you put them away immediately, even if you're super tired? Or do you dump them in one spot? Or do you have, you like, a project rosettes? bin? Are you making rosettes or just ruffle? Oh, uh, ruffle rosettes. Oh, my goodness. I just got rid of all my... Um... Crepe paper. Yeah. Because <laughs> I haven't been making those. And I thought, oh, I could just buy more if I needed it. Yeah, they're Rachel, inexpensive. Yeah. Rachel, check this out. I was the first person to create the nutting dolls with background years ago. Oh, my gosh. I'm with a Julie Nutting guru. She loves Julie Nutting. Um, They're pretty. I just checked them out. Rachel loves Julie Nutting. I know it weirded a lot of people out because they didn't have. Uh, yeah, I, I get creeped out. But I bought the face stamps from Peachy Keen so I could put faces on them if I wanted. Oh my gosh, look at all of them. Um, so pretty. Um, yeah, I was in that swap group. I actually think Maria, I swapped with Maria. I think you know Maria. I swapped with her. She's such she was so good at it. Um she actually bought me a stamp that I couldn't get here and sent it to me, and I was able to send it back to her. Just pay her, pay her back. <coughs> um, it was so cool. All the people we meet. Um, it was a fall one. What was her name? The, the girl's name. Because they all have names. Sometimes I feel like it's my main goal in life to not end up on a TLC show. <laughs> Gotta clean so I don't end up a on hoarders. a Gotta diet so I don't end up. Oh, gosh. Oh, Gina, I can't wait to see. Yes, those are pretty, pretty. Um, yes, I, I think of, I do think of the, the, um, craft, uh, the, the Mark, what do you call it? Oh, I can't say her name. The Japanese lady. What's her name? The Marie Con Kondo. Mary Kondo. What's, what's her method called though? What is it called? Um... It has a name, doesn't it? Anyway. Yeah, her show. But the method, what she calls, what she's doing, doesn't she? I forgot. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Because um, one of the first episodes that she did was a crafter. I was like, this got to be interesting. How do you have a... It, it, it feels like these are your babies. Like, I remember the moment I wanted them. I remember the moment that I bought them. And I remember how much it gave me joy. That's why it's so hard to let it go. And you remember how much yes. you paid Well, and then them. there was, that for me, what started to happen was, I guess pe some people had bought the stamps and it wasn't for them. But there was one that was like a retired stamp set that was, for, like, again, this became about the collecting. That was virtually impossible to find um and do i did i really need that one no but then it became about the challenge of finding it well you know me and facebook marketplace i started searching and then mm -hmm. i found it well i drove like 45 minutes to this person's house to pick it up because it came with a stamp set the and the die together it was when she did both do you think i've even actually used that stamp set yet it's ridiculous no, no. But it became about the hunt, not the... It became uh, about the win. Yes. 
Oh, the Mari Kondo method. Okay, maybe that's just what it is. The KonMar. I looked up KonMar is a cleanup. Con. It's the KonMari cleanup method. There's principles of it that I like. Because it like what I wasn't feeling in my room for the for a while is joy. Like I'd open the door and I'd look at it. I'm like, oh, I have to craft in here. <laughs> I can barely walk in the room because there's stuff on the floor to get to my chair because I use the floor as a sorting area. But on now method. I don't have that anymore. And I want to keep it that way. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. I'm gonna try. But but it, it it did take me getting rid of stuff and I probably still could get rid of more stuff. But, and then the problem is I have this random Dollar Tree snowflake sticker stuck to my wooden floor that I cannot get off. I don't know how to get it off. Who no knew way. the adhesive was so strong on those things? <laughs> I'm going to try my steam mop. Oh, yes. Two peas in the pod for sure. Well, yes, the thrill of the hunt Tuesday morning and see, I didn't get to go to Tuesday morning very often, but when I did, it was marvelous. I know it's so much fun being able to get what everybody got and like you had a purpose. You had a purpose and the adrenaline rush of that Tuesday morning, man, <laughs> man, I was part of that mania, the Tuesday morning mania. The flourish mania. My yeah, the God, flourishes. it was awesome. It was glorious. The flourishes. I got a lot of my We Are Memory Keepers tools from, from um, like the frame board, the frame punch. I was actually thinking I might use that for this. Um, but I forgot how to use it. So I'll have to try it off camera. Um, but yeah, it was, uh. Fun. I searched for years for three dyes and paid a hundred dollars for one plus shipping from Australia. Yes, I use it. And the other two I paid a bit for and have not used them, but I have them. Yes, so that's about the hunt. It really exactly. is about the dye. It is as, about the hunt. As a little girl, I put on holographic teddy bear stickers on my 1880s spindle wood dresser. Can't get them off for anything. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I don't know. Even my daughter, who's very good at getting stuff off, could not do it. So I'm hoping with the steam mop, if I put steam over it, it's going to help. Because it's just like this random snowflake in the middle of my Can you, you can do the undo glue. Well, that's not going to wreck my floor finish, though? No. You sure? Not at all. Okay. Maybe I'll have to get some of that then. If it doesn't wreck the paper, it wouldn't wreck wood. Well, it's just wood has a finish, right? That's what I, I don't know. That's what I was worried about. But, um, yeah, so, well, I just looked at the time. And it's already quarter to 11. Time flies when we're crafting here. I didn't get as much done as I wanted. Same. But do you want to recap what you've been working on? Well, I've just, in the past few minutes, I've been making some rosettes because I'm trying to bring them back. I was working on Willow. What is this? Woodland Grove. That's the new Maggie Holmes collection? No, this is the the old, an old one, but this is the newest. It's not new, but I, it gave me so much dimension. Uh -huh. Imagine this is just... A crepe oh, wow. paper rosette, yeah. a circle punch, a little doily in the back, a little tool, and then some layered stuff. Pretty. So it's like, oh, I need different colors because I printed so much ephemera. That's really pretty. And so now I can just, let, you know, have different colors. Um, I did a live today showing showing the um, the new bag topper. Purse oh, bag topper. You were live? Yeah, I was live when I was um, waiting for uh, for me to pick up Alexa. Oh, fun. So look how cute that is. And I just used whatever collection I had beside me. So this is what I did right here. And 
And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make more crepe paper because it totally, like, whatever. It just, it's going to match whatever I have. So I've been just doing that. And then I did a lot of cutting. Um, I did a lot of cutting all of these um, cut aparts wow, and pretty. card bases. Those so are perfect I, for Mother's Day. I want to stitch them. These are for birthday month. Um, and then my next one is Mother's Day. And I'm going to be using probably Garden Party and Woodland Grove and um, Wild uh, Flower Child I have. So I think it's, it's fun. Rachel, put a cloth soaked in baby oil on it. Yeah, I just saw that. That I was um I'm gonna try it. Because I have some baby oil in the bathroom next door to me. Perfect. So, and I was what did I use baby oil for? Um uh, oh actually maybe was it my grandma? Who used Grandma that? used baby something. oil? There was also something she used, what was it called? Lantern oil, something or like what was it? What was it called? That's where it is. Oh, no. But, but back in the day, it was like, I guess, the you know, the coil lanterns, it was like the decorative ones. Maybe it was the thing of the 80s. I'm not sure. But she oh, she used it. that on sticky stuff to get the sticky goo off. Um, Yeah, that worked really well. Mineral oil. Isn't mineral oil good for growing hair or inducing birth? Um, I thought mineral oil was used for constipation. That too. That oh. is going to give you massive, massive. It's going to cause cramping, which okay. is causes, you know, cramping, like abdominal cramping, which oh. will induce labor. And it's going to cause cramping because you're going to want to poop. And it's the same action with labor. Oh, God. <laughs> not for me <laughs> well not for me those are pretty pretty cards I think I'm just going to add like a small like a small um, the greeting farm girl or something maybe yeah, that, I, that's, well, that's what I need to do with mine but it's just so funny I had them all pulled or are they under here, maybe? Hold on. Have to decide which one I'm going to use. Or <laughs> use the ephemera that's provided for me, I guess. Here's one. Oh, here they but are. These are cute, too. Why not? The ones I pulled are this vintage one, oh, yeah. Birthday Enya, the cupcake. This is the rubber ones. I pulled her. And then I have this one, which is... Um, I love this dress that she wears, but I don't know if that's... I love awesome. her headband. It's so pretty. <laughs> and then I have the unicorn one. I love this. So, I don't know. I don't think the unicorn works. So I've, it's down to these two. But then I feel like this paper is very masculine that I should have... I wish I had a boy one. I don't have a boy birthday one. And then, right yeah, so what I was able to accomplish was I had the cardstock and the pattern paper all cut out. So I was able to glue that down to all of them. I did the black outlining um, and then I've decorated a few of them, although this um, tape uh, pop dot tape is quite a bit higher, but maybe it will have a picture, but basically um used a little ephemera and then made what did you like a what do you call those things i don't know it has a name basically like a little pocket mm -hmm. and then i did on this side as well with those and so i have six all decorated okay oh, make a min little mini album mm -hmm. and so gorgeous that's what i was gorgeous. able to do tonight which feels very very accomplished uh, yes productive and, productive successful um, yes that's always a, a win <laughs> i did how many card bases and layouts i think six that's good that's pretty good 
That's pretty good, considering... Tuck spots. Yes, that's what it's called, Gina. Tuck spots. I couldn't think of what it's called. Tuck spots. That putting is some called. stitching would be so cute. Oh, Rachel, did I tell you that I got some clothes from Shane? You did. You bought, like, you said you bought 25 dresses or something. I did for 200 bucks. Wow. And I wore the one of the dresses today. Yes. And it was so, I was so happy. It was so cost effective, like maybe $8 on the average address or wow. seven. That's awesome. And man, it is so, like I had so much fun trying them on and being, you know, because I emptied my, I emptied my um, closet. Oh, oh, you got, you start like, are creating a, a new summer wardrobe kind of deal? I emptied my class closet on like the clothes that was like maybe 30 pounds ago. Uh-huh. That you're thinking, you know, I'm going to lose 30 pounds very soon. Yes. Those I gave up on. It's like, it's over, friend. I am never going to be Kim Kardashian ever. <laughs> so let's just face the music and buy some appropriate clothes. And it, it, it gave me so much joy, actually. I'm so surprised. It's freeing. That's what can happen with your craft room, with your craft supplies, with stuff you're not using anymore. It's freeing. Because then it's you, liberating. You, because then you look at the stuff that you do have and you're excited to use and play with. So it's very, very... Gina, guess, know what I found at Michael's? It was out so out of place. She found the Maggie Holmes round trip puppy stickers for no. 99 cents. No. Or even carried Maggie home. I need that what? in my life. What? I've never seen Maggie Holmes there. I was ever I, same. I, Christian and I were talking about Maggie Holmes garden party collection a couple days ago because I yeah. never. That's the one collection I thought was absolutely beautiful, and I remember it was the pandemic, and I really wanted to get some, but it was unavailable everywhere, anywhere. Sold out. Yeah, that was a garden party craze. Yes. Remember that craze of everybody was buying like six or seven of them? Yes. Oh, wow. That was intense. I and absolutely I, remember. And I still like recognize it when I see people post projects with it because it is a really beautiful paper collection. It is gorgeous. Um, I was suggested... Um, that maybe somebody accidentally dropped it shop when shopping, but Gina said, nope, they had many when she first saw them. It's a hassle to return stuff. Yes. Garden party. Oh, you have the digitals too? Oh, I wonder if that's a way to get around having some garden party. There's the one paper pa collection co pattern sheet that I really like. It's the turquoise one with the pink flowers. Everybody uses that one. It's so pretty. The garden made, in the garden party, yeah. Pia made a card with it, and I just I don't know, she gave it to me at the retreat. Let me see if I can... Let's go back to our list, Rach. This um, one. remember the list that we made maybe when we were before we started, before we had a premiere of the of our show. Remember huh? that list of like something blue, something pink, something. So we can have a theme, regardless of what collection we're playing with. We have oh, like something theme? aqua, something bows, you know, being able to like just a challenge in creating. I think it's it's always fun to have a different spin on things. Yeah, that would be fun. That would be Andre, is that fun. you knocking on the door? Oh, Elizabeth, what's wrong? It's gorgeous okay. and I use it every year. Christian, I gotta go. Elizabeth's awake and she needs okay. help. So I'm all right, end it quick, quick. So night, night, everybody, and um, we'll see you all next week. Sorry, guys, for the last wind up, quick ending. Bye, Take everyone. Care. Bye. Thank you.